Hi, hello everyone, welcome to a sketchbook tour. So today's video is going to be a sketchbook tour of the very first sketchbook that I ever completed in my entire life, which is really exciting and I'm really proud that I completed this sketchbook here. I have been painting for a really long time, like ever since I was a kid, but I never really stuck with a sketchbook and I'm very committed to finishing one and so started a couple of ones and usually painted on loose sheets of paper. You can see a sort of a sketchbook tour-ish sort of video of all the paintings and drawings that I did ever since I was like <clears throat> 18. I link it to here and yeah so the sketchbook that I finished, the very first one I finished, is this red Charlin's Art Creation sketchbook. It is a really great, um, I'd say, rather high quality sketchbook, but it's also not too expensive. So it's rather affordable, I'd say. And from, well, from experience and from what I painted in here, I can tell you that it is definitely made for mixed media. Although if you use too much water, for example, if you like to paint with gouache or aquarelle, um, maybe you should look for another one that has thicker paper, which is what I did. I recently started a new sketchbook, which has, I think, about 170 or 180 grams per square meter paper. So I'm really excited to show you the sketchbook and to look at it and reflect on the progress that I've made and to see which sort of media I stuck with and which kind of subjects were obviously flowers um, is one of my favourite subjects but what kind of subjects I explored and yeah without further ado let's just get started. Okay so the sketchbook I've been using is a as I said Talon's art creation sketchbook. I have started back in October 2021 so like about eight-ish months ago if I'm not mistaken and the very first page is an abstract painting. I never thought I'd be someone who'd do abstract painting but yeah, here we are after I'd done a challenge, I think a year ago or so, which was all about abstract painting and just letting loose and being very free in the creative process. I realised that it's actually quite fun to do abstract painting. And even though I really do not like the results, um, this is the first page of my sketchbook and I have to accept that. And our sketchbooks should not be about creating like perfect masterpieces but just experimenting and finding artistic voice I guess. The next page is just a very random bunch of doodles that I did with ink. It is actually supposed to be red ink and when I tested it it was so pink but I love pink so that's that's just fine with me. And one day I think I'd really like to do these doodles digitally and maybe do some stickers or something like that, that would be really really cool. So this was here, one of the first real pages I say, on the 5th of October of the last year. Then I have flowers, you'll see that I have a lot of flower paintings in this sketchbook, it's really one of my favourite subjects. So I use mixed media techniques a lot in the sketchbook. This is, I think, aquarelle and coloured pencils. And on the next page, it is gouache and coloured pencils. I really, honestly, I think this one is one of my favourite paintings in the entire sketchbook. And it's one of the first, so um, quite interesting. I thought my favourite ones would be rather towards the end of the sketchbook, but this is definitely one of my, my favourites. Then I have another sort of ink doodle with pink ink and some coloured pencil. Then some more flowers. This one I actually like a little less because it's just sort of too messy for my taste. But you know, it's about experimenting and seeing what things you like. So not something that I should or would like to repeat in that kind of style. Then another flower doodle with the pink ink again, which I really like. It's very loose and free and it took me about like, feels like five seconds, but that was really nice to see. Okay, I can just do whatever I want in this sketchbook and have fun. That's what it's here for, really. Then the same doodle with some Posca pens and markers, which is also very loose and free and I really like the monochromatic theme here. I tried to change it up a bit here on the next page. I did a little house, I think that was from a Pinterest picture, one of my Pinterest boards. I love collecting ideas on Pinterest. 
And then I read a book, it was a middle grade book, which inspired me to here do these very loose acrobat doodled illustrations of the forest. So, and I really, really like the shade of blue. It's a very, very dark blue. I do not really like using black. I think it's too harsh of it. It's actually not even a color, right? So, yeah, um, I prefer dark shades of blue. And I did a couple more of these illustrations, um, changing up a bit with the colors, adding some colored pencils here, and also doing a monochromatic one again, but in brown, which I really like. Though the composition is a little off. I really like those little mushrooms here. I've been on a walk in the forest with a friend and we took quite a couple of pictures of all sorts of really interesting mushrooms and this was also an inspiration for that. So always take pictures that you can use for reference. So the next couple of pages are from a challenge that I set myself. I actually filmed this so I'm going to link it also in this video if you're interested to watch that. So I challenged myself to do um, as many pages as I possibly could during I think a 24 hour time span. I really tried also to experiment with as many media and techniques as possible and challenge myself to do something else than just flowers for change. So you have some sort of butterflies and a seashell and um, things that I have as decoration in my room and a little flower pot that I really like. Things that are on my bookshelves, so again um, a seashell and a very cute cup and which is from Shakespeare Company, my favourite bookstore. But yeah again so I did some line art with coloured pencil and aquarel to this which I think is really nice and colourful though there could be something up here in this upper corner. There's kind of an empty weird space there but you know that's just fine. Another page which is more sort of a still life things from the kitchen and I really like the contrast of the blue and yellowish orange colour here and there. And then yeah I continued the challenge using a reference from my grandma. My grandma loved to paint and draw and so I used here, this one is actually oil pastels, which I very, very rarely use because I just do not really like the texture. It's sort of too sticky for my taste. And also, I know I just do not really like how this medium behaves, but I kind of like the results. And also, of course, while painting it, I was really feeling super close to my grandma who sadly passed away last year. It made me very sort of happy and sad at the same time to be painting these two um, paintings here. The next one is a very sort of chaotic Posca pen marker page with some doodles that I frankly do not like at all but it was fun and again why shouldn't I have fun in my very own sketchbook? The next one is another ink doodle. I have three colours now and I really like them. These are Windsor and Newton ink. So I just did some doodles of some nature things like uh, leaves. Then some more flowers. This is a flower wreath, wreath? Oh, how do you pronounce that? Anyway, um, that I did myself at a floral studio. So that was a quick fun sketch that I did. I think you're gonna see a sort of color theme in my sketchbook is I really love pink, I love green, and I think those two colors really work super well together and also a touch of yellow just to brighten things up. Then I actually have these two pages which are, and I, but it was a challenge I found on Instagram and I'd never participated in any before. I remember this one was, I think, Fancy Flower Pot and I really like this one. Obviously, again, um, a combination of sort of a pink-ish colour with, well, the green leaf is a favourite colour combination of mine. Some more flowers and a little bird that turned out a little weird but, well, I do not draw that many birds or animals in general. I'd like to practice that, but yeah, everything in its own time, right? So this is gouache again, a bit of colored pencils to add some details. The next page I really, really like. I uh, started to accumulate quite a few black pens. Well, <laughs> I realized, um, I said earlier, I do not like to use black well for some doodles yeah it can do but not you know for larger surfaces or larger parts of a painting anyway so I started to accumulate quite a few black pens and I tested one of the first ones that I got 
on this page here that I really, really like. I'm super proud of it. I'd like to turn it into a digital painting or, yeah, drawing as well. Then, in experiment, I tried to draw some flowers again, but in another context. I liked a little bow here, the pink one, but then I, I think the thing is, I kind of, the composition is kind of off. These things are so small and then it gets sort of, it's bigger leaves here, I don't know. And then yeah, my mushroom page, which is inspired by the walk I took in the forest with a friend of mine. And so there were many, many different shapes and colours and it's the very autumnal page, I, it's back in October. And then on the other page, it is house facades from Colmar, a city in France that I visited, which is also, I think it was an inspiration for a Ghibli film, I'm not quite sure. You can probably see the similarity here. I also did, um, I think, a video of this one. So, actually this sketchbook is really sort of, feels like a bit of a stepping stone and the first one that I ever completed and also the first one that I shared on social media. So it's kind of holds a special place in my heart now. And some more ink pen doodles, um, yeah, which sort of resemble the ones that I showed you before, the Acroel ones, a couple of pages earlier. And then some more ink doodles in blue, so really like, as I said, I accumulated so many pens in black and blue, so I actually almost have, I think, about 10, 12 different pens now that I'm testing, and I'm never quite sure which one I like best. Anyway, next page is a still life again with gouache and cut pencils, very autumnal, almost wintry I'd say and I really like it I like that it's so colorful and bright and I've chosen to have the background be yellow is also kind of unusual for me I would have gone with well obviously pink again I think but then I was like huh maybe I should change things up a bit so I did next page are just a couple of plant doodles again really I'm just using a lot of mixed media techniques this is gouache and cut pencils again you see that in so so many of my paintings and drawings so more flowers really trying to loosen up a bit on this page but it's then another composition that i well i'm not quite sure if i like it i think the foreground is a little strange and the background would have, could have used a bit more sort of details or shading but overall i like the colors and the atmosphere then some more sort of doodles that are almost Wintry, it was really getting cold outside as you can tell. I tried to add some um, writing to change things up a bit. Then some sky studies. I really would like to practice drawing and painting skies more. It was really, really difficult. I remember seeing Turner and Constable in London a couple of years ago and was so impressed by their, was it Constable I think, his cloud studies are amazing. Some more ink doodles, that's kind of a random page I do not really like, but that just happens, it's a sketchbook. And another one with a brown coloured pencil, and then a rather unusual, I'd say, for me, illustration is this little sort of landscape in pink, which I really like the um, frame around it. I never really did something similar after that one. Another page was just leaves and another landscape. I don't know if it's kind of tricky to decide how to use the format of your sketchbook. Sometimes I used a frame, so I just used some tape to limit the space. Sometimes I used the entire page, and I think I prefer using some tape to limit the space. And then some strange ink and marker doodles that I do not really like, but it was fun. It really was fun, especially this one. I remember I used a rather thick brush, as you can see. It's actually inspired by the Monet painting that my grandma copied and that is now walled above the sofa. Then some more landscape illustrations slash paintings. I really, really like the colour combination of this one here. And then the next page, I think, is inspired by a book that my mum bought recently. It is all about gardening. My mum loves gardening. And then some more landscapes, again, using mixed media techniques, some, uh, a random bunch of leaves and flowers on the next page next to it. Then some more flowers and a little sort of illustration style page that could be almost a sort of 
postcard, I guess. I'm not 100% satisfied with how it turned out, but I really liked the idea and I did another sort of postcard illustration thing a little later on. And then one drawing that I did not share, it was actually I had bought some new colour pencils and some colours that I thought matched super well together and the thing is I um, remember starting somewhere here on the page just to test the colours, I had really no idea where I was going from there and then I just continued and it's some very sort of strange but also I think interesting abstract drawing here and as I was going on I realised it could be sort of a head or at least that's what it looks like to me you know here you have sort of the hair and then maybe sort of a strange ear here and um, the neck and to the right you have one of my favourite landscapes which is and I have this photo in here it is from the island of Jersey, it's one of the Channel Islands. It is so beautiful there. I um, highly encourage you to go there if you have the opportunity to. And it is a, also again, only coloured pencil drawing. And I really like the technique I used here, some really sort of short little coloured pencil uh, strokes. Oh, and then I really like the colour combination here. I actually remember getting a very sweet comment on my Instagram. Um, I post a lot of my art on Instagram, so you can check that out. I have the link in the description box below. I remember getting a very sweet comment about that painting and um, saying that the colours look great together. And I was like, yeah, I actually really, really like the pink and the bit of yellow here that makes it sort of more luminous, really. And again, you can see that very prominent flower topic and subject in my sketchbook. Some more very, very loose paintings here. Um, again, landscapes and flowers is really the theme in this sketchbook. I think I'm going to try to broaden my horizon a little bit with the next sketchbook, the one that I currently use, the one that I recently started. And this is a very, very, very loose style that I normally do not go for, but it was really fun. This is gouache again, and as you can see, well, the paper is sort of taking it, but not too, too well. It's a little wavy, which actually sort of gives it a little bit of something, but yeah, not very practical. You really want to add a lot of water, a lot of layers. I think you should preferably use a sketchbook with thicker paper. So here I have one of my rare unfinished drawings. I like the colour combination but I really didn't know where this was going so I just left it like this and I think that's just the reality of things. You do not always finish a painting or drawing. It just happens and you have to be okay with it and I'm trying to be which is great progress for me. I'm such a perfectionist, oh god. However, the next page I really, really like. I like how the flowers and the flower base turned out. I really need to challenge myself to think, okay, it doesn't have to look realistic. And I'm actually not going for realistic style. I'm more going for, I'd say, sort of impressionist kind of style, which is my favourite painting style. And I really love the overall colour theme and colour palettes on these two pages next to each other and these are very loose sort of landscape studies that I did I think without a reference because it's just actually sky and a bit of a hill or a meadow. Then another flower painting which is painted from real life so that's quite interesting I'm trying to do more paintings from real life and on the other one there is an unfinished drawing or illustration a very interesting house. It reminded me a bit of sort of this Wes Anderson kind of aesthetic because it's very symmetrical. I don't know, maybe it's just me imagining things, but yeah, I really liked the architecture of this, though I think I was just too impatient to finish it and there were some other, well, maybe more interesting things um, to do. Another monochromatic sort of illustration that I'd really like to do a digital version of and try to make it a postcard. Then this is a spread that I did when I, uh, I think I did a vlog of sketching and drawing. I'm not quite sure. That was very interesting to research, purposely search for references in real life and going on a walk and taking pictures and, and drawing them later. And this is, oh yeah, now I remember these other couple of pages I did during this 
um, finding inspiration. I was really challenging myself to find inspiration other than just my immediate surroundings, to go for walks, take pictures and draw whatever I could find, like interesting ornaments on houses or interesting architecture and also using pictures on my phone. I think we all have so, so many pictures on our phones and there's certainly a couple of few that we could use as reference. So try to find a few that would fit together and it made sort of a monochromatic kind of theme here. Another flower base that I really don't like at all. It's just very, very messy. It doesn't really have a shape, whatever. But yeah, experimenting. It's just part of the process. More flowers, as I said, really the theme that accompanied me during the last couple of months, trying to find some new ones though now to sort of broaden my horizon. And another sketchbook spread with sort of landscape flowers. That's really the combo that I was going for. I think this one is a reference picture I used with from the app Unsplash that I highly recommend. Lots of great photos on there that you can use. Again, flowers, landscape. See, there's a theme here. And then I started to discover well, at least one other subject, which is um, still alive. I think this is also um, a reference picture taken from Unsplash. And I really like the colour combo here, though it's really hard to do the background and the sort of shading of the background, so it kind of looks weird. Another landscape. More flowers, very, very loose. I really like the flowers here. Do not really like the vase, but I um, like the looseness of the flowers. I'm not quite sure if this was gouache or aquarelle. I mostly used gouache, so it probably is gouache, but it also could be aquarelle. Then another flower, obviously, really liked the background here. It's also referenced from Unsplash, I believe, and the fact that the background is sort of cut in two. I think that's very interesting, the sort of symmetry in there. Um, in the background and up front you have well the very organic shapes of the rose then a still life that I really like the um, sort of vases and plates here reminded me of the ones that my grandma used to have at home another still life again I think I was testing some new colors but I'm not quite sure and then another very very loose landscape study that I remember doing very, very quickly. I'm always super surprised and in all of the people and artists really that are able to do little sketchbook spreads in like I said timers for like five to 10 minutes. That would super stress me out, but I'd like to try because that would be a challenge, something new to try. Then a spread, my God, I was thinking of sharing this on Instagram and I think I ended up not doing it because I really do not like the colour combination. I recently got some new gouache paint. I tried something I saw on Instagram a lot to have a gouache background and to draw on it with coloured pencils, which I actually really like. It's super fun. It means that you can have just a very plain white sketchbook with, well, just white paper, but have a coloured background anyways some more of these so really tried this technique of you know using um gouache as background and adding some more details with well this is actually not colored pencils but water soluble wax pastels isn't that crazy i didn't even know these exist but i found them in a store when i was i think uh in france a couple of probably months ago already i usually as i said before do not really like wax pastel or oil pastels but these one are super super soft and so i did a few more of these paintings where i use a gouache background and then drawing on top of this with pastels some more of that, so some inspiration from, again, pictures that I took or also asked. Yeah, you know, you can ask friends to, you know, send you some pictures of landscapes from their holidays or whatever, and that's what I asked one of my friends to do, so thank you. <laughs> that's how it just goes on for the next page as well. Just being very, very loose with my painting style here. I'm not quite sure that I like these landscape paintings but what i really liked is to add this little sort of colored frame i really like that about this sketchbook spread then again we need the combination of landscape painting and then flowers so here for this one i remember really adding so many details i wasn't quite sure if i liked it or not i think it's interesting but 
the problem here is I think more that the colours do not really match in my opinion. There's just too many shades of green. Then, oh yeah, another spread that I did not finish. I wasn't quite sure what to do with this one, so I just edited well these coloured pencil outlines, but then I was like, well it kind of looks strange. Am I adding another sort of second outline around it? As you can see, I didn't. I didn't even finish the next page. Next to it, I was thinking, I think, of doing sort of doodles with a white gel pen, but I never did. And now I have this unfinished page in my sketchbook, which, again, it's fine. Yeah, next page I really, really, really like. I think I remember doing this page here when I was sort of in a bad mood. I wasn't really feeling like painting much, or I didn't really have any ideas. And so I thought, okay, I could do another sort of abstract painting. I was just thinking about the, a kind of summer meadow, sort of nature inspired thing. And I really like the color combination. I like how the colors are sort of blending into each other, which, well, I use lots of water here and you can see that this page is particularly wavy, which, well, sort of adds something to the whole thing. And again, I'm glad I have a sketchbook with thicker paper now and on the next page some more ink doodles with my pink ink that I really really like then some more flowers and um, what I really like and what is really interesting is also to do the same subject and to use different media and to see what looks like next to each other and what you prefer the first one is with a Black ink pens, the outlines up with this pen, and I edit the colours with coloured pencils. And the next one next to it is just gouache. I think I prefer the gouache one, but I like the outlines with the black ink pen. Ah, they're so difficult. So, you know, really trying to see what fits my style best and what I prefer. Then some very very loose and quick landscape studies. I was really challenging myself. I particularly think I like this one and that one. I think in the other ones, like for example here or there, I wasn't quite patient enough so that water and the colours are sort of too blending and sort of, how do you say that? Mm, anyway, so that was really fun to do. Then I have this sort of little again flower and orange spread. I really like the combination of the blue-ish sort of tones with the yellow so it really has this great contrast in my opinion. And then to Still Life, I recently discovered the um, Instagram page Still Here Still Life and this was one of the prompts and I loved doing this one. I really, really liked it. I really liked the result of it. I like how the colors are sort of bending in the way I really like the paint very sort of loosely. And I also, I just really liked the prompt. I really liked the reference picture they gave us. And I decided to try and find another one in the apartment. So I took this picture of the bathroom, but I slightly changed it. The tiles are definitely not blue. Unfortunately, that would actually kind of look cool. Another reference picture from Still Here's the Life, and I've got all the prompts that I do like, but I'm not too happy with it. I think the composition is the thing that sort of irritates me here, but the colour is obviously pink. I love pink. Um, I love it here, in my opinion. And this is all wash again, by the way. I think you can probably see that. This is another Still Here's the Life reference picture. Then another quick sort of flower base sketch that I did of these irises. I was, again, um, testing these water soluble wax pastels. And here I just left it that way. I didn't use water to blend the colours. And added some, again, sort of ink doodles. This, by the way, is the orange ink I talked about earlier. I really, really like the colour. It is not too bright. It's a very deep, rich orange colour, in my opinion. Very beautiful. And so I did a whole sketchbook spread with that ink only. Again, some flowery uh, doodles which I think turned out quite cute. I really enjoyed myself. This actually are the last couple of pages of this sketchbook that I finished in one week. I'm so proud of myself. This is the last video that I uploaded and then I continued um, in the evening with this gouache spread. So I had only recently bought 
some new gouache paint and I really, really was just oh, so hyped about the quality of this paint. I added some ink pen outlines, which I think is really interesting, something I didn't do before, I think. And then some more mox pastel drawings. This is a copy of a painting that is on my calendar. I have a daily calendar with paintings which is really lovely and is a great source of inspiration and also knowledge, you know, I'm learning every single day about art history, which is great. On this page, I actually, I think for the first time, blended the box pastels, these water soluble box pastels with water to see how I like that. And I think it's interesting in some instances, I like the way it turns out. And then some others, for example, the flowers up here, it's just sort of too, Blurry. I think it really depends on what you want to draw or paint. Another gouache and ink pen spread that I really like. I think that's just a really beautiful blue colour. I'm not quite sure about this darker blue ornament down here, but oh, just ended up being like this. So, going to accept it the way it is. And then a pink spread, yay! I decided to get some inspiration from my apartment again, so I just looked for some sort of bottles and face creams and things that are pink. And on the next side, another one of the rare abstract paintings that I did in my sketchbook, but that was just really nice. That was during this challenge, during the week that I finished the sketchbook, some moments I was like, God, I'm so tired, but I'm, what am I going to paint now? And so I decided to just do that. So like painting because that's just so easy and freeing. The next page is a bit of a change. It is insects and little bugs and things. The reference is a biology book that is actually quite old. I think it's from the 80s. So they had not pictures but drawings of different insects in the book, which is great to take as a reference. Then a spread with very loose landscape studies. Um, again, this is just gouache. I wasn't quite sure about adding details with, for example, box pastels or coloured pencils. I was, I think, also just a little too tired to add anything, so I just left them the way they were. But for the next page, I added details with box pastels, and I have to say, this is one of my favourite paintings in the entire sketchbook. I really am so proud of how it turned out. I really love the colours and I like the way it's just sort of super soft in a way. I do not know why it took me so long to really use the entire space, you know, the two pages next to each other to do a whole bigger landscape painting because that was just lovely to do. And so I continued with landscape studies, um, again using brush and box pastels to add details. And then a new subject, wow, <laughs> not flat. well, a bit of flowers as you can see, but not just flowers and landscapes, but outfit inspiration. I really like to collect lots of fashion and outfit inspiration on my Pinterest. So I just scrolled a bit through that and found two that I had pinned recently. I think I prefer this blue outfit here. However, the proportions are sort of off and a bit weird, but it was just so enjoyable to do something else than flowers and landscapes for change. Another landscape study, which is a little too messy. I don't know, it was quite hard to capture the structure of the mountains here. Still, I think it's an okay-ish sort of landscape painting. Then some more ink doodles. Got some inspiration here from a book about flowers in art. Yes, I really do like flowers. And the very last spread of the sketchbook is, I was like, okay, during this challenge, the week that I finished the sketchbook, I have no idea what to paint anymore. And I decided to finish the sketchbook the way I started it, which was with abstract painting. So again, I didn't really have a concrete sort of subject in mind. I think here I ended up thinking about the seaside and sort of coral reefs and a sort of sunset situation going on here and the sunlight reflecting in the water. And on the next page, sort of more of a flower meadow with this little red spot. Here could be poppies, for example. So this is the last spread of the sketchbook. I'm so happy I finally, finally finished it after quite a few months. It is completed. 
I only have, you know, some colour swatches on the last two pages. And that was it. That was the sketchbook. I really do hope you enjoy this video and got some inspiration. And also, you know, do not be too hard on yourself. Just go ahead, experiment, use different techniques and media, use gouache, aquarelle, or coloured pencils, or anything you'd like to use, really. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!